Hi, Chris with RC Worst here, and today I'm going to walk you through the easy process of properly selecting and sizing a pressure tank for your well application. So the important thing to remember when selecting a pressure tank is your goal is maximizing the efficiency of the system. And what a pressure tank can do is allow you to extend motor life and reduce the risk of premature pump failure by extending the time between cycles. So in general, a, a larger pressure tank is going to translate to longer motor life. However, there are a number of applications where a larger tank may not be feasible. What you want to try to do is get as big a tank as you possibly can. But I'm going to walk you through the process of sizing so that you can ensure that at least the minimums are met. Now most manufacturers recommend a minimum runtime of one minute for motors smaller than one horsepower. For motors larger, you're going to want to target a runtime of at least two minutes. So to determine the proper size of the tank, you're going to want to consider three main factors. So the three pieces of information that you're going to need are the flow rate, the system's cut in and cut out pressure, as well as to know what your target runtime is, or the time in between cycles. One common misconception with pressure tanks is that the number of gallons that the tank is, or the volume of the tank, is actually the drawdown capacity or the available volume of water in the tank. Now what I have here is a 20 gallon pressure tank. This is a Wellex Troll 202 and you can see that it's been cut out for display purposes. So the thing to realize with the pressure tank is that the volume of the tank does not necessarily match the drawdown capacity of the tank. What you have is a bladder in the tank that can only expand so far and, and then the rest of the space in the tank is air. So in the instance of this 20 gallon tank, which is a Wellex Troll 202, you only have a drawdown capacity of about four and a half to six and a half gallons with this tank, depending on the operating pressure of the system. So a 20 gallon tank, only between four and a half to six and a half gallons, that kind of gives you an idea of the type of cycle time that you're going to be looking at. So let's imagine that you have a system that has this pressure tank and perhaps you've got a five gallon a minute pump. If this pump was in the middle of its drawdown capabilities, let's just call that five gallons, your pump would have a one minute run time. If that pump were below one horsepower, that would be within the recommended target range and this would be an appropriate pressure tank for that application. Now, as your flow rate increases, so does the recommended drawdown capacity of the pressure tank that you select. As you increase in flow rate, the amount of extra tank needs to increase with it at an even greater rate. An easy equation to help you determine what your tank drawdown capacity will be is to take your uh, flow rate and multiply that by the runtime. and you will have the tank drawdown capacity. So pumps with flow rates or capacities up to 10 gallons a minute should have a tank with a minimum of one gallon drawdown capacity for each gallon per minute of the pump. For example, a 10 gallon a minute pump, you would wanna have a, roughly a 10 gallon uh, drawdown capacity. Once your flow rate gets beyond about 10 gallons per minute, up until about 20 gallons per minute, the target number increases to about one and a half uh, gallons of drawdown per gallon per minute rating on the pump. Once you go beyond 20 gallons per minute, the rule of thumb is then to double it. So for every gallon per minute of the pump, it would be two gallons of drawdown capacity. So a 25 gallon per minute pump would need 50 gallons of drawdown capacity. So there's also a relationship that exists with the operating pressure of the system. So I'm gonna put a couple of examples on the board to give you an idea of the different drawdowns at the different flow rates. 
And what this relationship actually is, is at higher pressures, this bladder has a little bit of more stretch to it. So it changes the drawdown capacity. But with that increased stretch, the low end pressure is also affected. So the three most common pressure settings on a system are 3050, 4060, and 5070. Now the low number represents when the pump turns on and the high number represents when the pump turns off. Now in the example of this tank that we have here, a WX202, we've got a few different drawdown capacities that actually apply to this pump. So at 3050, you've got 6.2 gallons. At, actually I'm gonna move 6.2 gallons. At 4060, it's 5.4 and then 4.7 at 4060, and this is gallons of drawdown. So you can see the relationship here, the higher pressure you're gonna be operating, the more tank you're also gonna need as well. So there is a very simple chart that can help a person in selecting a pump, and it's a very small basic chart. We're gonna have a link for that available in the description below. If you have any questions relating to this video or sizing a, a pressure tank for your well, please leave those in the comments below or reach out to our customer service team. We appreciate you watching the video today and thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content.